Hi, my name's Jack, and I'd like to tell you how I found a video that my mom recorded on her deathbed. The things I saw and heard in the recording have literally turned my world upside down. My mom passed away very recently. She was the closest friend I've ever had. Ever since I can remember, she was the center of my world. We spent weekends together, we treated ourselves to vacations on the beach, we went to movies. I love hanging out with her. She seemed to be able to read me perfectly and guess my heart's desires. I treasured every birthday gift I received from her. I don't know how she always managed to get it right, but mom would buy me the exact thing I dreamed about every time. My grief was devastating. There was nowhere to hide from the overwhelming sense of sadness. I seemed to see mom and hear her footsteps everywhere I went. Rationally, I knew for a fact that she'd never enter my room and ruffle my hair again, but it didn't help. I'm not sure how this invisible link between us came to be. I guess it had to do with my father dying very young. I can barely remember him. He was often on my mom's mind and she'd only say good things about him. When I grew up, I realized she still loved him. Apparently, her love was focused on me now, with a double power that I could feel. I also remember my grandma, who passed away about 8 years ago. I had no clue why she died so early. I mean, back then, I already understood that no one's immune to old age. But Granny was so vivacious and beautiful, and always on the go. She'd usually visit us on weekends to take me to the park or for a carnival ride or to see a movie. Mom disliked her, and they'd quarrel every time they met. After fighting for one reason or another, they wouldn't talk to each other for a month. Then, Granny would come to my birthday party and they'd make fragile peace for a while. Rinse and repeat. Eventually, Mom spilled the beans to me. Her mother-in-law didn't approve of her marriage, and she did everything in her power to ruin it. Apparently, Mom wasn't worthy of her son because she came from a poor family. I was outraged to learn my own grandmother treated my mom like that, but I remained very close to Gran anyways. I also had a paternal aunt. You'd not believe how nice she was. She was so young and pretty. We played all kinds of games together, although she was much older than me. She behaved just like another kid, though. Mom even used to tell her, God, you're a grown-up lady, but you're such a child at heart. She'd laugh and agree with mom. One day we decided to play soccer like adults we were. What a brilliant idea it was. My aunt kicked the ball so hard it hit the dish cabinet point blank. Glass rained down on the floor. We broke the one-of-a-kind cut glass vase that dad gave mom as a present for their wedding anniversary years ago. When mom entered the room, we were awfully quiet. She gathered the shards and spent several evenings gluing the vase back. She didn't even scold us. But then auntie was gone. Mom's death left me completely alone. I had to keep going. I was packing her belongings for storage. I'd hold every item in my hands, trying to remember the last time my dear mom used it. I picked up the sewing machine, hoping to store her makeup and hairpins inside it. I removed the looper and fidgeted with it for a moment. But just as I was gonna put it back in, a USB drive fell out of the machine straight into my hands. That was the drive mom used to store dad's photos and scan letters. But why did it hide it in such a place? My mouth went dry. I turned on my computer and browsed the drive. Among the familiar files, a video named To My Darling Son caught my attention. I had never seen it before. When I opened the video, I saw my mom's face. She looked like she was speaking with great difficulty, but still focusing herself to continue her testimony. The things I heard left me dumbfounded. I was so frightened, my hand shook. Many years ago, when my parents just got married, grandma kept inserting herself into their life. She tried to pit dad against mom, telling him to leave her. But the worst thing for mom was that grandma wanted to get her child away from her as well. Me, that is. Mom went to a black magic school in order to try to drive her mother-in-law away once and for all. The school made it point blank to never use magic against one's skin because it could kill them. But grandma did something to cross the line. Mom performed the ritual according to the instructions. She double-checked her black magic books that she kept at home. Whether the magic took effect or grandma was tipped off, but she actually stopped visiting us. Back then, tranquility and joy reigned over our home. But it didn't last very long. Out of the blue, dad was gone, followed by grandma and aunt. Finally, mom was down with a terminal disease. This was the result of her disobedience. She wanted to fend granny off no matter the cost. Mom's crying in remorse. She's begging for everyone's forgiveness. She's also scared for her son. I'm the last family member left, you know. 
The recording was over, but I was struck motionless. Can you control other people's lives? How is that possible? I took the USB drive to a reputable local magician. He listened to my story carefully and watched mom's farewell video. He poured over what he saw for a while. After performing two hour ritual on me, he said I shouldn't dwell on it too much. I should just live on and be kind to people. It took me a while to recover from everything I saw in the recording and heard from the magician. Indeed, mom's final days were incredibly painful and she didn't deserve any of that. This story taught me a very serious life lesson. No matter what people do to you, you should never wish them harm. It's so hard to deal with. It's just much better to treat people with kindness. It'll save you a lot of trouble. Do you guys want more episodes? Then press the like button, subscribe and hit the bell. Want to see your own story? Then send them over to this email here.